vlog. This? Yeah, trim the wicks. Gabby's lighting the candles. We just took the couch and turned it into a bed so that we all had more room to chill and relax. I'm drinking some coffee. Well, that's what I do. Get coffee. And I just started boiling the chicken for the homemade chicken noodle soup, chicken tortellini soup that we're gonna have today. It hasn't hit land yet, the hurricane. We're watching the Weather Channel and the news right now. It's supposed to hit later this afternoon, pretty much right in Fort Myers area, a little bit north. I know I have some friends in Naples that have already lost power, so we're just waiting to see, I guess, what happens. Sean still hasn't been called into work yet, so he's still here with us. The pets obviously are here. Justin made it back last night, so we'll see where the day takes us, but I just went through a lecture for tomorrow that was uploaded, got that over with, and I'm gonna edit last week's Week in My Life here in a minute. At some point this week, Gabby and I are gonna podcast, but she's still off from the gym today, so we're just chilling. I don't think I have any other updates for you guys. Slept pretty good, took the dogs for a walk this morning, I got some clips, as you probably already saw. Now we're charging up all of our electronics, just in case, because you never know what can happen. Looks like it's gonna hit land around three or four today, so I will keep you guys updated. Oh, but wait, I thought, what happened to like 8 a.m.? I don't know. It's like one mile per hour short of a category five hurricane right now. It's at a category four. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Well, Gabby just lit up. the caramel pumpkin candle and I have the chicken boiling on the stove. And that's pretty much it for the updates. So it is Wednesday morning currently. And we'll see. I guess there's already like some fires. Sean said like in Naples, like transformers are blowing and bursting into flames. So that's kind of scary. Lots of tornadoes yesterday. Lots of tornadoes yesterday on the east coast of Florida on the outside of the hurricane. So yeah, I hope everyone in Florida is staying safe. But we will keep vlogging for you guys over here. Not much is happening though right now. Cloud bug. Cloud dog. Little dog. Okay. We just started the sixth Harry Potter movie. The chicken's done boiling, so I'm gonna cut the veggies for the soup. Mm, where are the veggies? Oh, in the veggie drawer. Oh. So. The spinach will get thrown in later, so that's, I don't need to cut. Onion, celery. Probably cut up some green onions. No, I'm good. I don't like icing that much. I'm just gonna cut up the veg, and then I'm gonna put it on a pan with a little bit of oil, garlic cloves, some seasonings, and we'll let that simmer. And then I'll add in the chicken broth. I'll cut up the chicken while that's simmering. We'll just you're making moves. Uh, a hair no, tie? No, in the front of your hair. Oh my god. <laughs> it, the chicken that boiled over. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Veggies are sauteing. We just ate some cinnamon rolls. Chicken. About to add in the chicken broth. Oh, 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 earthquake in here. <laughs> Soup is served. A lot of tortellini in it. Try it? No, I'm gonna try it right now. It's really hot though. <laughs> It's good. It's really, really hot. Whew. Radar site, and that is where you can see that general motion to the northeast. And it's not impossible that we do lose our radar scenes, uh, but then we will be filling them in with uh, Tampa and Miami. But uh, when you're dealing with a hundred mile per hour wind, you can sometimes get a hundred mile. All right. It is 2:45 right now just laying here watching the news coverage of everything and just chilling trying to stay informed roofs are getting ripped off of places it's wild the flooding is crazy here I'll show you guys what I'm watching right now 
matter of seconds. Another moment right here. Now, this is going viral on Twitter. Her name is Megan Scavo. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. This is on Bonita Beach. Check this out right here. Her boyfriend. Oh, this is the that's cat. That's a cat. That is a cat. He's saving right the Right where cat. the water is. He's about to go up. This makes and me so sad. Cat. Now, obviously, when you're in a situation like this, when we are in storms, make sure you are safe. You are in shelter. You don't want to risk your life for something like this. But obviously, yes, you can you see do. they rescue this cat right here. Yeah, um, it's a very touching moment they to did see a him great grab job. that orange and white cat as the water is rushing in. You can see that cat just clinging to oh, his shoulders. Baby. Thankful that they were there to rescue him. You don't like cats. But again, I do. I like home. all animals. That Structures makes me sad. Are flying everywhere. Because I just picture Rita being the out water there. Is and rushing she in. would be screwed. So if you are out, just make sure you are safe right now. You shouldn't be out. That's the first thing. Uh, but of course, moments like this, you know, it's great to see. But just please, please be safe. And this is a reality that we're dealing with right now. Back to you guys. Yeah, right. thank you very much, Nicole. You know, a lot of animal lovers were writing in very concerned. Oh, here's the, the shaking footage. The whole. So camera is shaking like domestic animal services but the car is like just driving so they would be out of harm's let's way let's take you live to i-75 southbound uh, just near corkscrew road or south of corkscrew road mile mile. we are watching monsters inc are you excited scale of one to ten eight this gabby the boy's choice i just am happy to be watching a movie <laughs> i don't really care As opposed to <laughs> I, I don't know like i want this to be like Sitting a day off computer. like i just want to you know so instead she's going to sit on her phone and watch something else sideways. No. Oh, you're taking no. a story. <laughs> I thought you were watching something like another movie on your phone. Sean, one to ten, how excited are you? Look at him, he couldn't get any closer to the TV. <laughs> Sean. Yeah. One to ten, how excited are you? Uh, I'd say like eight, eight and a half. Okay, you guys picked this and it's only at an eight. <laughs> well, I can't say ten. You so sleepy. Sleepy girl. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we are playing phase ten over here. Say hello, everyone. Hello. And I'm watching this man stand outside. What's his name? Jim Cantor is standing outside in Punta Gorda, getting destroyed. This is what it's like. This is insane. This is the second half. When it's large and slow. Sean, give us a weather report on at least from what you're seeing in Fort Myers on the 911 calls. Just a lot of flooding. Everything's destroyed. So just like give us give the people an update. Um, it was just like feet and feet of flooding. That's all. I'm asking you to give me content for the vlog as if you are a news reporter because you're sitting over there reading stuff and that's all you can give me. Houses are four feet underwater. Cars are fully submerged. What else you got? Wind speeds are in the hundreds. You are freaking useless. Sorry. We are going to Chili's because it is not raining here in Miami. Welcome the coast is clear. We need to get out of the house and they're open. So we're going to go to Chili's for a late-ish dinner. Um, we all look, at least I look, we all bad. Um, I look great. Yeah, you look fine. <laughs> um, Sean just ran to Walmart with one of his other coworkers that live on this coast so they can get stuff for the guys back at home because it got really, really bad in Fort Myers, Naples, Punta Gorda, that whole area got really bad. Apartment complex, we have some pictures, I'll put them right here, of like before and during the storm. I don't know the extent of the damage and I don't really know much, especially about the new house or work or anything because the winds are still bad. So like people aren't outside to like figure it out. So I will keep you guys updated, but I'm getting a little stressed, I have some chest pains, but there's nothing I can do from here, so. We're safe, the pets are safe. And like your specific stuff is safe. We, yeah, our, our apartment's high up, so we should be okay. Uh, the pet cam was on at our apartment. So when the Wi-Fi was on, we were able to see that everything was okay, but about 5.30, we lost Wi-Fi and potentially power, I don't know. Um, so that's when our info kind of stopped, which I think is why I'm a little bit more stressed now, because at least before I knew everything was fine, 
but we will see. Gabby's gonna braid my hair and we're gonna go to Chili's. I will talk to you guys in a bit. Good morning vlog. It is Thursday morning. The storm has officially gone and left from home in Southwest Florida. I'm still at my sister's in Miami. Sean is heading in to start the rescue and cleanup at work and it is pretty gnarly what it looks like there. We have people trapped in our apartment building. Just like I have a video that I'll put right here of the first floor of the parking garage. Luckily Sean's truck is in my spot on the third floor so we're okay but downtown has been like destroyed. Honestly everywhere in Southwest Florida like I have no clue about the house that we were supposed to be moving into and purchasing. <laughs> Um, I have no idea about that area, but so many people's homes are just absolutely destroyed, businesses destroyed. It's pretty shocking. I moved down here in May, and it's just one of those things where you think, like, it'll never happen to you. My sisters lived in Florida for years and never, I mean, they f fled for a hurricane once, but it wasn't, like, the damage wasn't like this, so... I was gonna vlog last night as we were getting calls and texts about the apartment building and our possible storage unit and just like, I was too emotional and anxious and just picking up the camera was not an option. But I wanted to talk to you guys this morning because it, like this whole vlog and just experience in general really took a turn. Like at first it was like, oh my gosh, yes, like a couple days off, it's gonna be like snow days, which is what I'm used to. and. You know, the hurricane wasn't supposed to hit directly at home and it took a turn and it did and it's terrifying and my heart goes out to anyone who has loved ones or whose home was destroyed, business was destroyed. I mean, it's going to be a while before things go back to normal. I have no clue about work. I know work is closed the rest of the week, but I don't know, you know, two million people don't have power in Florida right now and it's like, I don't know when the roads are still flooded, so I don't know when they're gonna be able to restore that. We have a pet cam at our apartment and I was able to see until about 5.30 and then it cut out. So I'm assuming we haven't had power since then. So I don't know really what that means. We're very fortunate that we were able to get out and I'm so grateful that, you know, I was able, the pets are eating, I'm sorry that I was able to, you know, pack up the pets and we were able to come over to my sister's in Miami where it's fine. Um, but, you know, it is also hard being away from there because I feel so helpless. Um, and my heart goes out to the people that, you know, weren't as fortunate and it's just, it's a lot. It's, yeah, it's gonna be rough, but I'm gonna try and stay positive and keep myself busy. I'm obviously stressed about Sean going back, but I know he's doing what he loves and I'm so grateful that we have people like him to go and, you know, try and put the pieces back together and save people. I mean, 911 was cut off from like most of the day and evening yesterday, like mid afternoon until like the early hours of this morning, they weren't letting first responders go to anything. So it's crazy. Um, I just honestly can't put into words <laughs> and I don't want you guys to be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry and like pity me. Like this is not what I'm trying to talk about. I'm just like getting my thoughts out and you know, I am fortunate there are people that have it so much worse, but it's just like kind of crazy and we don't even know the extent of the full damage because the sun just came up a little bit ago and yeah, so I'm hoping Sean keeps me updated as much as he can, but I know he's obviously going to be busy. I don't even know where my phone is at the moment. But I currently have all three pets up on the bed. Rita, you got litter up here. This is not so. Um, where the heck is my phone? Oh, my phone's over on the couch. Um, hello, Cloud. 
but yeah I don't know when I'm going home I didn't prepare I mean I'll be fine but I didn't think I'd be here this long I knew it would be a couple days but I didn't again we didn't think it would be this bad so I'll keep you guys updated I'm gonna go make a coffee and sort of chill maybe watch Gilmore Girls to get my mind off of things but I will keep vlogging and documenting this whole crazy thing bring home Duncan and it brings all the girls to the yard Maria's eyes are so heading into Hello vlog. So it is a little bit later from when I checked in with you guys earlier. I just took a nice hot shower, a long shower, and did like a hair mask and everything and just sort of relaxed. Hello, Miss Lola. Um, Sean is working but has hardly any service because of just the madness at home. Um, he'll be obviously staying at the fire station. We don't know how much longer like if it's going to be his normal 24 hour shift or he's going to be there a couple days we don't know um he said he's just been doing like a lot of cleanup of the trees debris getting to the calls that they couldn't when the storm was happening and yeah we have some neighbors that either know people that are at our apartment complex or are there themselves and they said the power's back on elevators are not working and it's questionable like the water keeps going in and out whether we have water or we don't so it's a good thing I'm here with the pets, for sure. Um, hello, sir. But, yeah, it almost just, like, still is so shocking that it doesn't seem real because I'm not there to, like, witness it. But it seems like, oh, just like a bad dream. Hi, thank you for the kiss. Anyways, I'm going to make some food. Um, I think I'm going to make, like, sausage rigatoni or something. And then Gabby and I might watch, like, a fall cozy movie or something but that's the vibes right now had a chill day today i can't believe it's already like seven o'clock um yeah not much else to report on but that's pretty much the updates so i'm gonna brush my hair take this towel off and then start making some dinner all right creamy chicken nope not chicken pork sausage rigatoni i don't know you haven't vlogged all day have you I I told them that. No, I didn't really have anything to vlog, but we're back. I told them I showered. Oh, good. You told them you showered. I yes. finally showered. Um, we're trying to find something cozy to watch on TV. I don't know what that is, though. I don't know. I'll check my fall Halloween movie list and read them to you, and you can decide. Maybe. Hello, everyone. It is a couple days later, but I wanted to continue this vlog. Sean is an angel sent from heaven and he had the idea we are at Lowe's and we're gonna go to Walmart and we're gonna pick up supplies from everybody at home since we're on the east coast there's a lot more stuff here that we can get for people so we're gonna get like gas propane tanks for people's generators food building supplies like everything and Sean's gonna bring it over tonight I think he's gonna head back to Fort Myers with Rita tonight and then I'll head back with Lola probably tomorrow I don't know. It's a still a mystery. We don't even know if our apartment has water. It is kind of crazy, but I love that he is so caring and thoughtful. So we are going to go get some supplies. I will show you guys what we get in a minute. He just sent an email to the fire department to see if anybody needs anything and we'll be bringing stuff over. <laughs> She pulls through here. She says, I'm just going to pull up a little bit. A little bit. Out of the space. So here we go. Trying to correct it. All right. Car's all packed up. Got Lola in here. Suitcase. Just went and got a bunch of groceries. Let's check out the trunk. Yeah. Water on water. Water, paper plates. Bunch of things since we do not have water at our apartment right now or AC. We have power. So have you tried these or did you just get them? Cause I have not tried them, but the flavors sound really good. Right. Let me know. But lots of just water to be able to bathe, flush, brush our teeth for the pets, wash oh. dishes. I mean, we got paper stuff so that we wouldn't have to hopefully do any dishes, but like some soups, just easy things that hopefully easy mac and stuff. Great. The groceries are spilling all over. But yeah, things that we will hopefully not need to make a fuss over. Gibby, thank you for having us. We appreciate of you. Of course. 
any time. I don't know how to hold this. Okay, I'm actually gonna say goodbye to her and then I'll start my drive. Good morning, it is Monday. We are still closed from work because a lot of places, including ours, don't have water. So we are very fortunate we have power in our apartment, but we don't have any water or AC. So I'm just sort of taking it day by day. We got a bunch of water jugs to like fill the toilet, clean ourselves, um, drink, so cook, like all of that stuff. But it's gonna be almost like we're camping until this stuff comes on. I'm trying to keep a positive attitude about it. We have a fan. Thankfully, it has cooled down a little bit, especially at night. It's been a lot cooler outside, so we can open up the door and get some airflow in. Um, but that's sort of your update right now. I will insert some videos right here. I just took Lola for a walk, and I am stunned with the damage um, around the apartment. Sean was right. It is a lot worse when you see it in person. It's so sad. Like, I'm trying to not think about it because I don't want to get emotional again. But this is like our first floor to home, and I love it. I love the people. I love the area. I love everything about it. And it's just so sad to see, like, how one storm coming through can, like, destroy everything. I mean, our trees are bare. It literally looks like the scene in the sixth Harry Potter when, like, the Dementor, not the Dementors, the, um, like Voldemort's people are coming in and just like destroying the bridge and like, I don't know, dumb analogy. It also looks like in Halloween Town when the gray spell comes in. Just like think of any movie or show where it turns from paradise to like a very depressing scene and that's pretty much what we're witnessing. But again, I truly feel so fortunate that, you know, our unit in our apartment is okay because it was high up and just like, I don't know, I just feel very grateful and we've been doing, especially Sean, I'm like so proud to call him my fiance. He is truly like the most giving person in the entire world and not only is he a firefighter, so like every day he's a first responder and whatnot, but he went when we were in Miami and like you guys saw, got all of those supplies for people here that didn't have them and he is just like the most giving person ever. So that has been really nice to see and have just like that good energy during this time, but yeah, I was shocked. The trees are bare. Um, there's a boat literally in our yard where I walk Lola. There's a no wake sign from like the other side of the apartment complex blown over. Like it is truly nuts. And I don't know. That was the little update I wanted to give you guys. But basically just getting a lot of work done here today at home. I made a to-do list on, on my little notebook, so we're gonna be just getting through a bunch of stuff. I have to handle bills for this month. I have to do a bunch of emails. I have to edit some videos for you guys. I have to make some posts for social media, um, some lectures I wanna go through for work. Even though we're off this week, I don't wanna fall behind. Sort of like look at the schedule and see what's gonna happen when we get back. I'm a little bummed because I was supposed to be in the OR this week for work my first like solo OR day and obviously that has been canceled which is kind of sad but like I understand it's better than like trying to force us to go into work and have like all these things go wrong so plus I'm hoping that the families that you know we treat all of our patients are okay and it's just a lot so that's my update for right now I'll catch in with you guys in a bit nothing else is new so far it'll be a lot of probably unhealthy but easy to make foods um, pretty chill, like I said. Let's pretend we're camping. Okay, a little bit later. I don't know how long it's gonna last. The water just kicked on for a little bit, so I am filling the bathtubs up because then we can use that water to do other things instead of wasting like good drinking water. So hopefully I can at least get the bathtubs filled before we run out of water and it all, because I don't think it's permanent, but I'm happy I tried it just to like see. I'm gonna go fill up the other bathtub. But note to self, if you live somewhere where there's like a major storm where you could lose power, water, whatever, fill up the bathtub before you leave. That is something that I've learned the hard way, but I've learned nonetheless. So I'm gonna go fill up both bathtubs so that we have water. I actually turned on the AC too because you need water in order to run those. So I wanted to see if that was working and it feels like it's not cold air, but it's better than, like it's cooler than the atmosphere air. So I'm gonna leave it on, see what it does here 
but let's go fill up the other bathtub. I also have all the blinds shut and like no lights on because I'm trying to keep it cool in here. So that is why, oops. So that is why it looks like this, but let's fill up these bathtubs, shall we? All right. I. I'm back here. It is a few days later from the last clip that you guys saw. Water is restored in our apartment. We have power. Um, Wi-Fi is a little bit spotty, but we are very fortunate, like I said earlier on. Um, we still have no AC and there's some other like weird things with the building. So I've been running just this fan back here and like trying to open the windows when we can. Luckily, the last few days have been pretty cool, um, but today it's a little bit warmer out, especially like in the middle of the day, which is when I'm filming this. So I've got the blinds closed, windows are closed, and we're just running off this one fan. Sean has been working nonstop. I'm so proud of him and everything that he's doing, but he's literally been like living at the fire station working. So it's just me and the pets at home. Um, I'm still off of work right now. We don't know much more. Um, it's still pretty crazy around. A lot of people still don't have water. Gas stations are still shortages everywhere. Um, power like it's just nuts around here but we are safe and we are so fortunate and i don't really have any other updates especially as far as our new home i'm still waiting to hear um, on what's going on with that but for now very fortunate that we're able to have this apartment even if you know we don't have ac and wi-fi spotty and all of that like we really are so grateful so my heart goes out to anybody who is affected i will leave some resources down below um, but thank you again for all of your sweet messages and checking in on us. We are safe and we are, we're okay. We're going to be all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.